welcome to Abstract Boss. So today I am going to be doing a candy cane inspired pour. Now Tina said she wanted to see some dark red. So I decided to add a little bit of the silver black into my mauve, uh, the sparkle mauve, both Patty's pigments. So um, we'll see how that turns out. And then let me pull up the video. And let's hope that we do not get the ring of death, because I'm not sure how well the um, service is going to be today. So cross your fingers for me. And make sure you guys say hi as you come in. So hi, hi, hi. Or hear me. Okay, yay. Perfect. It's working. Angie, what is going on? Let me make this. There we go. Amy, Robin, awesome! I'm so happy you caught me too! So, I am doing Candy Cane Inspired. Super simple, but... Ooh, look at that sketchiness. <laughs> Tina, this one is specifically for you. Look at this beautiful dark red. Um, so, I have the resin sitting in hot water. I know it's a little sketchy. I keep seeing squares on my end. Tell me what you guys are seeing. Is it horrible, horrible service, like the worst thing ever, or do you guys see everything that I'm doing? Ooh, Alahi, Sandra, Kayla, Portopia, what's up, man? All right, let me grab my resin. Ooh. Okay, so my resin, I have sitting in hot water, all right? Now, I'm going to show you guys this trick because I know some people have asked me about this. It's, they're in their separate cups. Oh, perfect, no problems. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so they're in their separate cups, and now you can actually see, look how fluid they both are. They're both extremely fluid, okay? So I had these two cups sitting in hot water to bring it up to cover um, right here. So my hot water was about to here, and then they're gonna mix a lot easier because it's a little cold today. And then I have my silicone spatula and my cups so there we go let's get started with the mixing because i did not want to mix with the uh uh whatchamacallit popsicle sticks again that was just way too big of a pain so i have a nice awesome silicone spatula today and then for those that needed to know that little trick it is the bestest trick ever when you're in a cold environment <laughs> all right let's see here i did not get all the resin off Ooh, look at that y'all it's still stuck. <laughs> there we go. Gross. All right. Now should be good. So, how you guys doing? Do you guys have some awesome Christmas plans coming up? I'm excited for everyone. I love Christmas. That was amazing. Oh, and I don't have any music playing today. I forgot to put my music on. I hope you guys forgive me. <laughs> oh, looks fine. Hey, y'all. Hey, Karen. Perfect, perfect. Joe, what's going on? All right, so just scooping all this out just like normal. Y'all have seen this. Most people, if you guys are brand new, um, give you guys a quick shout out. Hey, hey. Welcome. Uh, but this is, I, I show my mixing on each, uh, each video usually just because um, I want to be able to chat while I'm doing that. Not on the pre-recorded videos though. I usually speed through that. <laughs> Robin says, awesome trick info. Yeah, it helps a lot. Look how fluid this is to mix. It's super liquid. Now, the issue, though, here's the big issue, all right, you guys? If you mix it this way, um, it does make for mixing easier. You're going to have a lot less cloudy streaks, and you can see them a little bit easier. I don't have issues with all that. Um, the one issue you will have is it does make it a lot more fluid, okay? So if you guys are going for... Um, you're worried about it running off, then this is probably not the trick for you to use because that's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> Hoping for a white Christmas in Spokane. Sandra, we got some white snow outside here in Montana, so I'm uh, hoping to send that all your way. <laughs> oh, do I live close to Charlotte? Robin, I live, uh, well, normally in Fayetteville. Um, also, if you have pastes, oh, well, I couldn't read the whole one there. If you have pastes that are dry, put them in closed 
in hot water after you heat the water in the micro that will liquefy them. Oh, interesting. All right, well, I haven't had any issues with my pastes. Um, I don't know how that's going to work with, like, letting chemicals into the air, though. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Karen, no snow here in the UK. Are you happy for that, Karen? Do you like white Christmases, or are you guys used to not having snow? I know when I was in Germany, um, it snowed, but not very much, but it was beautiful. And I loved the Christmas markets. You guys, those were my favorite. <laughs> I freaking love them. Oh, with just resin paste. See, and I haven't had issues with mine. I am going to use the gold. Or actually, you know what? I'll let you guys vote. So, here is the Sparkle Moth. All right, that's what that color looks like. And then I'm using the white. Would you guys rather have copper? Ooh, copper actually looks really cool. Or gold with that? I'll let you guys vote. So, we'll see how many gets which vote. Joe, you're not getting a white Christmas in Florida. <laughs> oh. Karen says, love it, but not used to having snow. Oh, see, and I wanted to run away from it, but now I actually am happy to be back home. It's so nice to be around it, seriously. Ooh, got two for gold. Do you pour resin on cedar? Uh, Robin, if you're pouring resin on wood, you just got to make sure that you're priming it really well so you don't have all those air bubbles. Because those air bubbles are so impossible, like, I kid you not, and it's going to be a pain in the arse. So, just keep that in mind. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is all mixed up. Looks like we're voting with gold. That was like, wham, y'all friggin' waved that one. Hail no to the copper. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, too, because I don't even, like, I think both would look good. But if I have enough resin, which I don't think I will, I'll do a second disc. Um, and we can do candy cane twins. That'll be fun, right? <laughs> All right. So first thing, lats for the base. Cause you know it's all about that base, about that base. No trouble. I'm gonna have so many songs stuck in my head today. Good lord. All right. Let's get this in here. Loop. That should be good. Y'all don't really need a lot. It's usually 10% for those that are new, trying to mix it up. Um, this should be a really easy project for you guys, too. There's not a lot of stuff going on. Robin! Oh my gosh, I am so jealous. I love, love pouring on wood. Um, just make sure you are priming the heck out of it. Um, but I, that's my, my jam. Like, I absolutely love pouring on wood because... It just looks so beautiful, and the live edge discs are my favorite. So, yeah, you got one jelly artist over here. <laughs> you think, anyway. <laughs> Did they say yes and then maybe just not get back to you? I've had people do that to me. That's always fun. All right, here we go. Whoops. Ooh, I'm making a mess over here. Hold on. Spilt my base. There we go. Okay. 50 cents an inch. Robin, uh, compare it to whatever you can get on my Amazon page. Um, because I can't remember. I mean, it's pretty cheap when you're bulk ordering. And I do have the bulk one available on my Amazon page. So check that out. Because I don't want you... Oh, I just put this all up in my hair. Nice. Um, I don't want you to happen to need to spend more money... Um, for really good quality because the discs that I order are awesome if you've seen any of my previous videos with those particular projects they're amazing so just keep that in mind Ooh, this turned out kind of like a purpley red Ooh, with that silver black you guys that's so pretty but yeah definitely check Robin because I think I think you might be paying too much that's the way it sounds because mine are like I think 12 inch um, discs and I pay oh gosh maybe I think it ends up being like two or no 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 it's gotta be like three or four gosh now I'm just talking don't even know what I'm saying I can't remember if someone wants to go look on there that'd be fantastic but it's amazon.com slash shop slash abstract boss um, and it'll bring you to my my shop okay so we have an overwhelming gold vote 
Karen says, thanks for the tip in regards to heating the resin. Yeah, it helps a lot. And then to remove particles from resin two hours after finishing project. Ooh, Karen, that was, yeah, you are welcome. I found that to be a lifesaver for me because I live with cats and a dog and myself. I shed like a dog. <laughs> so, yeah. Ooh, yay, you were able to remove it. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. See how long it took me to read one paragraph? <laughs> so I'm so sidetracked. Ooh, you guys, look at this. Look at this. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. So it's not very red red. I, can, I have another red I could use, but I like that. I think that's really pretty. Let's go with that. And let's get some more white on here. There we go. And I like to just spread it out. I have copper on my gloves, so it's going to um, possibly come off in this. But if it does, it's okay. It'll look nice. All of this is going to be abstract and stiltacular. All right, so after I spread it out, I actually did notice that some of it was not rolling over the edge the last couple projects. So go ahead and drag your finger around to make sure that it's gonna reach all these areas. And then this is the most unlevel surface I have to work on, but like you guys know, I am on vacation. So this is what I get. <laughs> and um, I forgot to spin it um, probably like an hour, I don't know, maybe even 20 minutes would probably be smarter. But just to keep moving it around so that way the resin keeps going to different parts. But right here it needs to come down. Yeah. So just keep knowing that you got to spin it around. All right. Jewelfish says, pretty colors. Thank you, girl. All right. Let's work with it, y'all. Let's do candy cane inspired. So I'm just going to do, I'm going to start up with some straight lines. Oh my gosh, look at that color. It's so pretty. I think this is going to be my new favorite color to work with. Mixing the two together. Look at that. Okay, and then the gold, I did notice with the dress resin, um, a lot of it is going to sit down, but some of it does come to the top and leaves a really nice shine. So I'm kind of, I'm still up in the air about this in comparison to my alcohol inks. I just really, really, really love the pinata rich gold when I put it on top here, but I couldn't travel with my rich gold because alcohol ink is flammable, so you can't do that. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Robin says, I've been watching as many videos as possible. Don't like the ones where you don't talk. Oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> see, and I get, I get to whole mix reviews on that. Some people tell me to stop talking and some people tell me that they love it, so I appreciate you telling me that you appreciate my personality. <laughs> All right, so I just have some parchment paper here, and I'm going to use this to roll it outwards. So I'm just going to tear this into smaller little bits. So that way, I'm going to kind of go at different angles. Yeah, yeah let's do that. Let's see what happens. And just sort of let it do its thing. But I don't want to waste too many, so I might even make them a little bit smaller. There we go. Ooh, oh my gosh, look at that. So pretty. Oh no, that one didn't connect. Come on, connect. There we go. Let's move this. Alright. This is going to be cool, you guys. I like this red over top of the gold. Oh, hoo -hoo, yeah, you guys, that was a really good vote, y'all. I definitely, I would have gone for copper, and I think that you guys chose the best color, because this is, this is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. And then I'm going to use the heat gun oops, to get a little bit more action coming on uh, for these other ones. So I just wanted to like switch it up and see what happens. Play around with it. This is my me time, kind of. My child is jumping around like a madman behind the scenes. 
kind of wish I had a video recorder faced on him that you guys could see while I'm doing all this because it's hilarious. <laughs> uh, Joel says, yeah, I have to go now and pick up my friend from Walmart. Oh, no. Well, drive safe, please. You said no white Christmas in Florida, but still, lots of people, so drive safe. <laughs> uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Fabulous colors. Deanna says, hello from Adrian Dex in upstate New York. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> Let's just, you know, keep going and ignore that. <laughs> I might put some extra maroon, though, because this is, this is going to be cool. Look at them bubbles pop, too. Oh, there we go. That's helping some of those cells come out as well. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys something. I'm not sure if you can tell from your angle, but this is starting to show and this is not. It's all bulking up down here. So I'm going to grab some gloves and turn this 180. Oh, Chase. Come here, hand me those. Right here. Gloves, right there. Hand me the box, child. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I have like a maze of cords going on behind me. Um, oh, let's see. Hello from Turkey, what is going on? Karen says Merry Christmas. Wow, Turkey, that's awesome. Where did you get your metal discs? Uh, Kayla, I got these at Michael's. And I love them, they're just not, um, they're not by any means level, so <laughs> you have to accept that your art will change. And I know when, just think of it this way, when you stop your art, it's because you like it. So you have to keep in mind that you might not end up liking it. And if that's okay with you, I mean, then by all means, but if that's, um, if that's not your jam, then you want to be a little careful. So, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I really like this, and I want this one to come out this way. So I'm going to allow another line of maroon, so that way I can get sort of the same effect going on. The maroon over the gold. Ooh, let's make sure we have enough. I got more in the cut, but I'm hoping to do a second disc. We shall see. All right. And then let's pull it out this way, and then I'll use the um, heat gun for this one. All right. There we go. I don't know, I just got that on my camera holder. <laughs> I am the messiest painter I know. Seriously, I cannot keep things clean for the life of me, and I try. I truly try, but I am so messy. That was crazy. Great selling. Yeah, I, that friggin' base is just amazing. Uh, the white base. If you guys are in a country that can get the stone coat base coat, I highly recommend it because it really is amazing. Uh, foil cake boards. Huh. I have never heard of those, so I will have to give those a try. What's up, late man? Y'all, I was going to have my dad in my video today, but he showed up super late. And y'all know me, I'm timely. <laughs> I had to be here for you guys. So he just walked in. I'm still gonna do a video with him though. We're gonna do, we're gonna refinish those um, end tables of yours. Yep. Yeah, so we're gonna refinish um, their side tables that they have in their bedroom and make them look super cool. So check this out, pretty cool, huh? That looks pretty cool, I like it. Yeah, well this is what it looked like before and this is what happens. It starts to sell because of the, base color right here and then that heat gun helps you know that my favorite part that's actually separating it yeah isn't that cool yeah and then the other thing that will do that um is the resi blast but i'm gonna do a video for you guys coming up on uh tuesday on the resi blast specifically so you'll know how to work with it because i know that's been a very common question 
and it's not that easy to work with. So I will give you all the tips and tricks that you need to work with the Resi Blacks on Tuesday. And that is Christmas, so if any of you guys need something to do on Christmas, there you go. I won't actually be live. <laughs> it's going to be pre-recorded. <laughs> but uh, definitely wanted to still be there for you guys on Tuesday since I have that as one of my promised days. Okay. And uh, I think I'm going to swipe some more. So like this. Maybe go this way. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing half the time. I just, you know, move it around. <laughs> I love those swipes. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Robin says, that's amazing. Deanna says, absolutely beautiful. Awesome, awesome. This is going to definitely look really cool. Move some of this out this way. Ooh, I don't know. I kind of like that. I, I kind of liked I it before you did that. Before I did it? Yes. Yeah. You know, that's not me. I, I have to fidget. I feel like I need to do more. <laughs> For any of those that followed me a while ago, back when I did my elephant, um, I did my elephant live, and then right after, I just, I didn't like it for some reason, so I erased the entire thing, and we did it. <laughs> yep, I'm a fidgeter. Ooh, that's cool. I don't know. That's cool. Let's do some more maroon. I'm going to mix up a little bit more maroon. It's candy cane inspired, but it doesn't look like a candy cane anymore. <laughs> all right so what's great about these pigments sometimes if you're okay with a little bit of transparency all you gotta do is add a little bit more resin and that color is still there uh, for this particular piece I don't really want the transparency though but just another little trick for you guys what was the white base um, I know the white base is the uh, base coat from stone coat so I get that from stone coat countertops that's down in the discount part of my description so make sure you check that out because I have uh, $30 off of 80 for anyone who uses my code abstract and that's a nice savings so definitely check that out make sure you talk and laugh on it oh absolutely <laughs> all right there we go I don't know which way I want to go probably more right here and then pull it back this way I'm trying to make it level. Have you ever like sprayed MEK on these or anything to cause this effect? MEK? Yeah. What's MEK? So sometimes you can take MEK, methyl ethyl ketone, and you can put it into a spray bottle. Mm -hmm. And you spray it <coughs> on epoxies like this and see this effect you get here? And yeah. It'll do it to the whole thing. Oh, you guys, I have another project I gotta do. MEK? MEK. MEK. I have some out in the shop. Ooh, yay, you guys are gonna get to see whatever the heck MEK is. We're going to do that because that sounds like it's going to be super cool. It'll do that to the whole thing. See, and I have uh, alcohol will work when you do alcohol on top. Mm. Um, but, and alcohol evaporates. So I don't know if MEK does. MEK will evaporate eventually, but it, it will hold its form longer than alcohol will. Oh. So that it keeps it. Keeps those cells going. So it keeps it. The cells going out. Yeah, because I know sometimes when I spray alcohol, I have issues. Oh, you guys, look at this. Where I tore, that is cool. That created a really nice effect. Um, yeah, when I spray the alcohol, it will create the cells, but sometimes the cells disappear very quickly. So, you guys, we're about to do some mad scientist stuff coming up. <laughs> Aicha, I don't, I don't know if I said that right or not, <laughs> but hey, from Morocco. Hey, you know, I just seen something really cool. That almost looks like a flame. If you did more of them up like this and kind of intermingle like a them. Make candy cane flame? Yeah, make it flames I coming up. This, this part's cool. That kind of looks like flames. This part? Like the start of the flame. It does kind of. Hmm. Maybe I'll pull some up and around it over here. So why does it have that effect over there on that side? This side? That's, it's this over right top here. of the base. That base, that white, mm -hmm. that's what causes these cells. Oh, okay. I haven't added anything else onto this except for that white base coat. Um, and the only other things that I found, but besides the MEK, so I'm excited for MEK, but um, the alcohol and then the Resi Blast, which is this stuff. But you have to put that on 
like as a second as a second coat because the first coat it'll just separate and force anything that's underneath to show through all right it's taking me back to my fluid painting days I like this oh man this is cool what are y'all thinking on this Maybe throw some alcohol on here, and I'll show you exactly what the alcohol does. The cells don't happen as good with alcohol, though, and I know I have a lot of people from other countries who are on here, so if you guys cannot get that white base coat, um, that alcohol is a good alternative for you guys, since that's the only option that you have. Mandy says, love it. Sandra says, gorgeous. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you ready? So when I do alcohol, I have no gloves on at this point because I'm not touching resin. I dip my fingers in the alcohol, and then you can spray it on top, and then look at it create all the extra. MEK does the same thing. MEK does the same thing. See, there we go. Perfect. And you wouldn't want to put your hands in MEK. Oh, well, <laughs> definitely don't want to do that then. <laughs> but this is cool. I am absolutely loving this. And then another thing that you want to keep in mind, if you're going to bring the heat gun back to the table, make sure you wait and um, a little bit because you want that alcohol to evaporate. Um, before you're putting heat back on it. Robin says, love it. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, guys. If you don't mind, don't forget to uh, throw a thumbs up on there, too. Popping all the bubbles here. Um, I also have the blowtorch my dad brought in, so I do have the ability to pop bubbles a little bit easier than this. So for those traveling, I still, I wish you all can take blowtorches with you because it's amazing. Maybe just see if you can rent one or something, but they're amazing. Ugh. You got a nice, awesome one too. Don't cross thread it. I'm trying. you need. Oop, there's a hair here. Let me tweezer this out. Ah. There we go. Ooh, gross hair. Alright. Do you see any more hairs there? I can't see anyway. <laughs> you need your glasses, old man. <laughs> Alright, you guys. I think... Oh, nope. That's either bubbles or hair over here, so let me pop this too. So I think this is done, you guys. Um, I'm really happy with it. Yeah, those are bubbles. So not enough resin over here. Let's just throw a little extra gold. Make it happy over here. Happy little cells. You guys, maybe I should start doing that. Wear a Bob Ross wig and say happy little cells. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Mandy says, is the stone coat base heavier than the colors or lighter? Um, so I'm pretty sure the way that it seems to me is that it is heavier. Um, so the lighter colors would fall around it. I'm not sure though. I'll have to ask them. I get a bit confused over that. Yeah, you know, me too. But, uh, I like this. I think this turned out really cool. I do have some extra resin. So why don't I switch this out really quickly and we'll throw together, um, another one super fast. And if you guys have any more questions, ask away as we're doing this. And then maybe I'll try to do that fire one like you wanted. See if we can do something like that. I've had to throw away all my little resin things that fell off. Makes me sad. All right, you guys, say goodbye to the beautiful candy cane. Um, if you guys do want, it is for sale. This one is not taken, and it'll be 45 bucks plus shipping. Um, and I can get it out before I leave from Montana. So probably around right after the New Year is when I'm going to get it out. Now look how bad this is. You guys have to really be okay with your entire art piece moving. <laughs> All right, let's get some more. Uh, do some more white. Or black. Let's do black one this time. Can I do black? Black. Sure. Black sounds good. All right. 
throw it together so I don't waste the resin. Kind of looks like a dragon. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to have to have you circle where you think it looks like a dragon. I think it's really cool, but apparently what we see in other art is um, really represent representative of the type of personality we have. So, Tina, you probably like animals, right? I'm or, assuming. <laughs> or she's got a dragon's heart. <laughs> a dragon fire? Is that dragon's heart. Oh, dragon's heart. Or what are those lizard ones? Um, the lizard dragon thingies that people have as pets? Oh, um, kimono? No. Kimonos are bad. Those things will... They're dragon lizards. They're No, kimono dragons, they're poisonous, aren't they? I'm fairly certain. Y'all need to help me out here. <laughs> what? What is it? Bearded dragon. Those are the pets. Bearded dragons. Kimono dragons. No, Komodo dragons, I'm fairly certain, are poisonous. Okay, somebody's going to have to Google it because I don't have my phone. <laughs> you guys, help us out. <laughs> Kayla says, bearded dragon? Yeah, so that's the pet, but I'm pretty sure Komodo dragons are not pet friendly um, at all. I'm fairly certain. I could be wrong, though, so correct me, you guys. All right, so I'm putting a little bit more resin in for my red and the gold, and then I'm just going to do more black, so that way all this resin is used up. There we go. And then I have a really nice base going. So what's your work time on your resin? 45 minutes. Um, ends up being a little bit longer, so I showed them a trick the other day that if you end up... Oh, that's too much. Um, if you two hours later go and find a hair in your resin you can slowly reheat the resin to where you can get that hair out so that's why I absolutely love these types of resins because you can do stuff like that so I found that to be possible with the stone coat art coat the stone coat countertop coat and the art resin um, I have not had enough of things like the master cast um, to work with, see if that's possible. The quick coat from Stone Coat, you absolutely cannot, you guys, that's for sure. Oh, look, I'm totally the winner. <laughs> Komodo dragons are very poisonous. <laughs> Doesn't mean somebody won't have them as a pet. No, I mean, they would not be, very, well, they probably wouldn't be smart if they're trying to keep them as a pet. So they probably wouldn't care if they're poisonous at that, at that case. Oh, that's funny. Um, Komodo dragons. Saliva. Yeah, there's saliva. It says they're very dangerous. You guys are awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Gee, thanks for proving dad wrong. <laughs> See, that's what you guys are here for. They like me more. They've been around me more. <laughs> uh, you guys, my dad's going to start a YouTube here eventually. He does some cool outdoor stuff. Um, I'll make sure to point you guys over when he does because he's going to put together some really cool videos. All right. I think this is good good base. Let's get some gold and my red. Let's make this one look like fire. I think that'll be super cool. Okay. Oh, see how slow it's coming out too? Starting to set. Yeah, I'm getting close to the end of my working time. There we go. Ooh, that one's going to be hard to work with. Huh? That one's going to be harder to work with. Nah. No? Nah. Um, so if you guys find that your resin is starting to set. Do it above set, it. Do it above it. Do it above I'll it. I'll do it above too. I have plenty with this one. Oh. Um, if you notice that your resin is starting to set, then you can um, actually, like we did with removing the hair, you can heat it up a bit with the heat gun. Now, what I was trying to explain to some people in the comments is when you're heating it back up, you take the heat gun and you roll it in circles. Don't just focus it on one area. You want to make sure you're rolling it in circles. And this is gonna help circulate that heat and make everything nice and fluid again. I do not have, um, I don't have an expensive heat gun and so I'm just working with this little cheap $10 one that I got from Amazon and it is, it's also in my shop if you guys want to check it out. You got a link in your description yep, for it? link in the description. And um, it is just on and off. 
and it has not burnt my resin yet, but that's also because I know how to work with it a little bit more. So if that's something that was not clear last time, make sure you're circling and not just focusing on one area because if that were cured, that would be burning it or trying to cure. Um, setting it up. Yeah, quicker. setting. There we go. If that were setting, it would definitely burn. So we don't want that to happen. All right, wanted to tell you my son is a pilot in the Air Force. Awesome sauce! Does he, is he over in um, Hope then? Or, well, I guess Hope isn't quite much of a base anymore. All right, Ooh, this just looks cool like this. Let it all drag this way. So this part is where it cuts off. This is what I'm gonna try to drag with, because that turned out really cool last time. Well, that did not drag all the way out. <laughs> cone it. Cone it. Cone it. Well, then only little bits of it are going to touch. But it'll give you more of a... you got to keep the crease in it in order to make the paper stronger. Okay. There we go, you guys. Dad taught us something. Crease See, it. We might not know helps. about kimono dragons, but we do know about a few things. <laughs> Wow, this one is so different. So cool, though. That's going to be neat. I don't want more black to come onto that. So let me do. Oh, oh my. Okay. Creased. Paper. Ah, this one looks crazy. That's cool. Oh, that's way cooler. See, that now that looks like flames. Super cool, yeah. yeah. You know what would work good for that is like sponge brushes. Oh. Maybe we should play with those when we do our other project. Oh, this is so cool. All right. yeah, I like how you overlap that one. You need some more of those. Do more of the overlapping? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Maybe from here? No. Yeah, maybe go across that big one right yeah. there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And then let's do... I think I just do a tiny one like this thing. Oh, that's cool. There you go. That's now neat. you're getting the hang of it. <laughs> that actually looks really <laughs> freaking cool. You want to buy it for me, Dad? <laughs> there we go. No, it is Christmas, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Presents galore. <laughs> Well, I did give mom one, so this one might be taken by my dad, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at that, it's so pretty. <laughs> that is really cool. Need a little bit more red. You right think so? There. Yeah, because that black took it away. Let's do some red. What about Tajak? I'm a painter. <laughs> so if you guys need to get resin off, um, don't use alcohol that opens your pores. Use, I've heard apple cider vinegar is the best way to get it off. So, how about a paper towel, really quick? Paper towel, you still gotta clean it off. It is, don't say that on my YouTube. <laughs> you guys need to clean your resin off of you. <laughs> <coughs> I paint for a living and I've had worse things on my hands. Manny says, Well done, Dan. <laughs> no, Robin says, Vicky and his wife are in New Zealand. Oh, I don't know what that's for. I can't see. Sonis, what is going on? She says, hi, you're great, thank you. You're so sweet. Sandra says, beautiful. Oh man, that red down there actually really made it awesome. Make sure you go into like a tip at the end. Look how right. flat that is. that's why I'm pulling it up. Well, that one didn't turn out tippy. Technical term there, you guys, use it. Tippy. Tippy. I don't like the way that one is right there. Which one? Um, see how it kind of forks? Yeah, like, right. like the devil's fork or something? No, we don't want that. Alright, let's go across. That freaking looks really there cool. There we go. Oh, this is cool. I should do this on like giant scale. That would be really neat. Okay, let's. Ooh, That's yeah, look at this. It's all draining too. Badass. I'm going to turn this around, you guys, so you can see it from our perspective too, but also because it was draining, so. No bueno. I'm going to have to pay really close attention to this one. 
Oh, you just ruined the resin skins. Now you're making it all go down that way again. No, I'm not. You're not? <laughs> oh, the whole thing is kind of warped. Away. I know. That's why I was telling everyone these metal discs are kind of crappy. But uh, they're definitely pretty. And I like that they have um, a stand and a little eyelet hook on the back. It's really nice. Okay. Let me... <laughs> Did we have the eyelet hook in the right place? No, that was... Uh, it already came on there, oh. so it was not, you know, that, didn't that have even, to deal with my You know my what, that disc. actually looks just as cool on the video as it does here. <laughs> it does. <laughs> That's cool. Your white, um, your white is kind of oh, blinding actually, it. Oh, actually, what is going on? Huh? Here, step aside for a minute. So oh, my white is it. blinding it? Yeah. There yeah. we go. See let your me, white's well, still let me it. torch it real quick. Boom. Look at that, y'all. Stand aside. I'll stand aside. Okay. Definitely do a bigger scale. Yeah, Sandra, I want to because this is amazing. Kayla says, love that. Looks awesome on the black. Tina says it's beautiful. Portopia. Mandy says it's gorgeous. Thank you, guys. Oh, man, that's so cool. Now my white kind of tells you, like, how flawless it is, though. My shirt reflecting on there. <laughs> so that totally works. That's way closer to being level now, though. You think so? Yeah. There's still some bubbles though, so I'm gonna have to go torch it again. A or maybe they're just dust particles. Let me try torching one more time. How many yeah, are watching right now? Hmm? How many are watching? Uh, I don't know, guys. How many are watching? 19. I only have two thumbs up. Y'all need to help me out. <laughs> Karen says, love how dad is advising. Petra, what's going on? Be strong, step away. <laughs> I know you know me well. <laughs> I'm a fidgeter. Okay, sleeves are down now, you guys. I am done. <laughs> Let me know if you have any more questions because this is beautiful. I don't want to touch it. I love it. It's going to turn out cool. And you guys can see the, um, let me see if I can spin this around. The other one looks just as fantastic still. A little bit is draining over here on this edge, so I'll have to watch and make sure that it's not all going to drain off. But I can switch that. It's draining off that side? Yeah, just a little. But that's something, so you want to just check every 20 minutes. Um, and that should be enough to also get these little resin drops off. But also, if you guys leave those resin drops on for all of my new peeps, um, the best way is that heat gun with that flat attachment. And it just, it gets them off so easily. It's amazing. All right. Let's see here. Robin says, you're freaking amazing. So are you. Thank you. Karen. Kathy. I gave you one. Gave you one what? I don't know. Thumbs up. Oh. Oh, yay. Thanks, Kathy. Yeah, see, my mind is so, <laughs> such a space case. Um, how do you have those cells? So, Aisha, that's what I was saying um, earlier. So this is because of the base coat, but I also flicked alcohol on top. So both of those things cause the cells. I'll do a more uh, definitive celltacular video for you guys and then I am doing a resi blast specific video on Tuesday for Christmas I'll have it posted out for you guys to follow um, so that way you can figure out how to work with resi blast because I'm actually finding that I do enjoy it you just have to make sure that you have a um, layer already done so how come I'm gonna ask questions for them okay. So how come over here on this black one mm-hmm how come you have all of that in here and you didn't put any alcohol on that one? Well, that's just because of the black base. So this one I had the white base. This one was the black base. Both of them are from Stone Coat. Um, and those are the base colors that I use. They have a bunch of them. But I like the white and black. And then I use all the other metallics and colors from Patty's Pigments or Just Resin or wherever I find ones that I really like. And then they separate right over top of the base coat. Um, you can always flick more alcohol on it, though, if you're wanting more stuff to happen. So, yeah, perfect. Look at that. Aicha, my dad read your mind. He knew exactly what you are going to ask. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So the white and black are my base. And then um, make sure that if you do get those base coats, you're pulling the colors over top of it. So that way the base coat, again, is still on the bottom. That's why it's a base coat. You don't want to do it opposite. It doesn't work the same. Um... Let's see. Any more questions? Can you think of any more questions? No? No. Say, no, we're about to sign I, off. Ask I got your one questions. More. I got a question for you. You might okay. be able to answer it. So, say you didn't want that effect in there. Like you liked this other mm -hmm. effect in there. How do you keep it from doing that? 
don't use the black base coat from Stone Coat. Use just black um, pigment paste or pigment powder, and you won't have the cell effects. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, because that's I purposely use it so I can get the cell effects. But if you guys do not use a base or the alcohol, then you're not going to have the cells. It's still so going to look you, really cool, if though. If you used a powder one versus a liquid one, you wouldn't get that effect? Is that basically what you're saying? You can still, like, black acrylic paint. You can use black acrylic paint. The issue with using something like acrylic paint is that will weaken the resin over time. So you want to be careful with that. Let me switch this. There we go. And does this one look like it's leaking out anywhere? Uh-uh. I think it's been sitting, you guys. I don't think it's been moving. Okay. Uh, the black base tints are on base? Yeah, on the base, yeah. Are oil-based. That's why the colors separate. That's why you can use the acrylic, but you just have to worry about it um, impacting the integrity. the integrity of the resin. So, all right, y'all. I am so happy you guys came and joined me. I hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas. If you get a chance, definitely um, go check out my video that I post on Christmas. That'll be Resi Blast. And that's my present to you guys. <laughs> How to deal with one of the most obnoxious things to add into resin. <laughs> oh, thanks for the answer. Uh, let's see. It says, is the JR base tint do the same thing? I haven't used their base tint. I just used their... Um, pigment paste. I haven't tried their base tint yet, though, so I could not answer that. I am so sorry. Sandra says, Merry Christmas! Alright, you guys. Well, before you guys head out, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you got something from it, I'd appreciate it if you guys shared. But that's totally okay, too. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. This was based off of what Tina had suggested. She wanted a dark red. So if you guys want to see certain colors in my channel, make sure you guys put those... Um, in the description or the comments below and then check out my description for all the coupons so you guys can get some nice Christmas savings. Alright you guys, Merry Christmas!